Hello YouTubers, my name is Mike. This is my first uh, video tutorial that I'm going to be making uh, about Ubuntu and ATI drivers. Now basically what I'm going to show you is the correct and proper way of installing ATI drivers to your Ubuntu installation for your specific uh, you know, build, whichever it may be, Maverick Meerkat or Natty Narwhal. Okay. Now, the information I have here, I actually got it from the internet uh, web page, but unfortunately it's, it's been taken down or the hosting um, you know, wasn't paid for, I'm not sure. I totally get all the credits to the whoever put this information on there. Um, and luckily before it was taken down, I did copy uh, all the information regarding that to a G edit file, which you can see right now. Now, basically what I'm what this is going to show you is I know that you install ATI drivers in Ubuntu when you click on administration and you go to additional drivers all you have to do is click activate and Ubuntu will automatically pull from the reposit from the Ubuntu repositories the driver and catalyst control center uh, for ATI. The bad thing about that is that you're getting you're getting old software in other words, you're getting an old driver, an old version, uh, an old uh, version of Catalyst Control Center. You're not getting all the new features that comes with the software, and certainly you can't use your video card to the maximum potential that it can, um, because unfortunately, even though they are the ones built by Canonical to work perfectly with Ubuntu, they're old, unfortunately. Um, then there's also the chance that you can also go to um, AMD and just download the uh, download the drivers yourself which uh, for example in my case you get desktop graphics uh, this is a PC, a Radeon HD series um, my model is 2XXX, it's a 256 megabyte uh, card it's not the newest or the best and then lastly I choose my Linux version which is 64 bit now I can go ahead and download this file and it's a .run file it's uh, I have it right here. It's a dot run file, and it's version 11-6 or 11.6. Now, you can install that in terminal uh, by typing uh, dot forward slash, and then the file name, and it'll install your base driver for ATI so they can you know work with Zorg, and and your in your X11 system, and it'll in install the at a ATI Catalyst Control System, but it's not going to fully integrate into the system, and you definitely will not get the best benefits from your video card. Now, to start this, basically, like I said before, I'm going to post this file up. It's going to be a foreshare.com uh, link on the, on the description, so you can download it and do this yourself. I'm not going to do it here right now because like, I've already done this. Uh, I'm not going to go through that again, but you can go ahead and do it yourself. This works perfectly. Now, the first thing you'll need is you're going to have to go ahead and uh, enable the restricted repositories. In other words, you have to go to the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, you're going to click on Edit and Preferences, and then you're going to navigate to other software. And then here you'll find Canonical Partners. You need to you need to enable that. Check the box. Uh, you will also need to enable Canonical Partners source code. You need to check that and enable it as well. Uh, that's needed so that your Ubuntu, your Ubuntu operating system can go ahead and build the driver for your specific Ubuntu version that you have installed on your PC from scratch because this is building it from source basically. Then once you have that then you will be go ahead you either type or copy paste this, uh, these, this command or this uh, script here basically it's to install uh, build essentials and dependencies that Ubuntu will need to go ahead and create the the ATI driver from scratch okay so once that's installed we're gonna go ahead and in your home folder preferably uh, you're gonna go ahead and make this folder you're gonna either do in terminal mkdir and catalyst slash 11.3 but you use the version of the ATI driver that you downloaded, whether it's 11.6 or or beyond. For example, here's mine. This is my home folder, Catalyst, and then 11.6, and here is my ATI driver that I downloaded, uh, the .run file. 
Okay, so once we have that folder created, you're going to navigate to it using the CD command or exactly using the CD command in the terminal. Then download the actual driver from the ATI website. You can either do this in terminal using the uh, yget command, and then this is the server. That does not change, that will always be the same. And then just remember that if you do it in the command, you need to change this version number instead of 11 3, you need to change that to the current version number, uh, which is I think 11, da 11, dot s 11 dot dash 6. Um, and if not, you can, like I said, you can always just go ahead and download it through your uh, Explorer, uh, Firefox, or Chrome and download it to that folder. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and give that file the necessary permissions for Ubuntu to do its thing uh, using the chmod space plus x command. Okay, so once the file is ready to be worked on, but first we need to remove any prior installations of of the actual of the uh, of the ATI drivers you already have installed. So you're going to go ahead and here's a command for that. This will remove and purge um, your ATI drivers that you already have installed, uh, your X11, your X servers org. It's going to be the configuration and the driver itself. It's going to be eliminated along along with the ATI Catalyst Control Center. Okay, now if you are using a version of ATI driver before uh, 1102 or before, then you're going to have to go ahead and use this command uh, since it's an older version of the driver. Okay, I personally I do this one first, and then I also do this one just in case any files are left over from this uh, from this uh, uninstallation here. Now, once we have that done then we're going to go ahead and start uh, building the driver for our version of Ubuntu that we have installed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're in the same folder, we're in the same folder, 11.6 in my case. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put in terminal sh, and then the file name, like I said, please take in, into consideration the version. And then we're going to use this command to build the driver. Okay, and also please take a note once you when you're typing this in or if you copy paste it, make sure you change this to your Ubuntu version. I have Ubuntu 10.10, .10, which is Meerkat, uh, Maverick Meerkat. So this is the one I have here, Maverick. Now, if you're using uh, 11.04 or Natty Narwhal, you would change this name to Natty. It'll work fine like that. You do have to change it. Uh, basically, it has to match up uh, with the system kernel. Okay, so please take into consideration that and the uh, file version, the driver version. Okay, so once that's done, that's going to take some time, uh, anywhere from uh, four to seven minutes, depending on how uh, you're, uh, depending on your specs. So you go ahead and get a cup of coffee, smoke a cigarette, do whatever you need to do. Now, once that's done we can go ahead and start installing the packages. The packages will be end up in that folder. It'll be four files, very similar to, uh, very similar to these. Um, mine say, of course, AMD64, since I am running a 64-bit operating system. And it's going to convert this .run file into four .deb files, or, dot or Debian package files. Okay, so this is going to be more uh, compatible installation-wise for your system. Like I said, it's built down, broken down, and recompiled for your system. Okay, and since they're all named, they all they all start with the name FGLRX. Uh, you don't need to put a command in to install every single one. Basically, you will use this command, just one command, and it'll install all four packages. It's a sudo space tpkg space dash i space f g l r x and then an asterisk uh, like i said before they all start with that same name so anything after that you can put an asterisk and then dot deb that that uh, one command will go ahead and install all of those packages and lastly once we're done with that or once the system is done with that the last thing you do is to configure your um, ati zorg config file and basically it's just putting in these two commands, uh, these two commands, this will configure and let the system know exactly where the uh, Zor config file is. Uh, once you execute both of those, 
um, the terminal will let you know itself that the changes will not take effect in the session you're in at the moment. Uh, basically, it will take effect after you restart the system. Restarting the system is, of course, recommended not uh, not logging out, logging back in. It's recommended you restart the system, and it'll the changes will take effect immediately. And once you do this, basically, you will notice in your games you will have better texture, uh, better rendering of graphics. I have tested it; it does work. There is a difference that you notice in the games, especially if the game lets you. Um, uh, toggle the texturing and the bitmap things like that trust me you will notice the difference and once you have the ATI Catalyst Control Center the last thing and the best option that this has since it's the newest driver and, and it started uh, this uh, ATI started including this with 11.6 is the thing that most people complain about with their uh, video driver whether it be ATI or NVIDIA um, which is a tiering in videos and in games uh, a lot of people I've seen in a lot of forums they have that question how did they eliminate the tiering and uh, you know things like that and there's been a lot of answers and yet a lot of people really just it doesn't happen for them now at ATI included this new option called tier free which all you have to do once installed is click on enable apply and okay the changes will take effect almost instantly and as soon as you can you will notice that the graphics will improve 100%. In other words, there won't be any more tiering. Um, you can do this with your uh, compass, your desktop. There's no tiering here in the edges of the screen. Your video will not tier anymore. Your games won't do that either. And that's the best option that the newest drivers have. That's the best about having the newest drivers installed correctly. Okay, and one more thing. This is for ATI. Um, I don't know if it'll work for NVIDIA. I'm not sure uh, how they, what their file type is, the drivers for NVIDIA, but you can use this if you're an advanced user in Linux. You can use this as a basis to do the same thing for maybe NVIDIA drivers. And this will work on all Ubuntu versions, whether it's Ubuntu, Edubuntu, Kbuntu. It will work perfectly. I have tested it with all those systems. Uh, what I haven't tested it is with, for example, Linux Mint or Fedora. Uh, other Linux distributions, uh, I can't speak for that. Although, if they are Debian-based or Ubuntu-based systems, it there's th most likely that it will work fine since they they uh, they uh, have the .deb installer as well, the .debian package installers. That's their default install file. So it will work perfectly with uh, Debian-based systems or Ubuntu. It's just other Linux distributions. I'm not sure of because I have not tested it. Okay, guys. Well, this is my first tutorial. Please go easy on the comments and please leave comments. This video will be uploaded to Ubuntu Help Guys channel um, so that more people can go ahead and take advantage of this uh, little tutorial. Thank you.